morning, I'm Rachel Lampert, the editor of the Cardiac Rhythm Management CardioSource website. And here with me today, I have Dr. Sana Al-Khatib, Associate Professor of Medicine at Duke University, to talk to us about primary prevention uh, defibrillator use in patients with chronic kidney disease. Dr. Al-Khatib, tell us about the study that you did and what you found. So the study that uh, uh, we did uh, actually involved patient level data from three randomized clinical trials of primary prevention ICDs, namely MADIT-1, MADIT-2, and SCADHEFT. And uh, we looked at patients with chronic kidney dis disease defined uh, as a glomerular filtration rate of less than 60. Um, and uh, we uh, were actually happy to find about you know, more than 1,000 patients with chronic kidney disease using this definition. And when we looked at the relationship between the potential benefit from primary prevention ICDs and how it changes with a, a decreasing GFR, we actually found that the benefit seems to decrease as well as the GFR decreases, which is probably not surprising given the competing risks of death in this patient population. But this doesn't mean that these patients don't benefit from ICDs. I think this, this question still needs to be answered you know, using randomized clinical trials. It may be that the benefit is less in these patients, but it doesn't mean that you know, these patients don't benefit. Also, not surprisingly, we found that the complication rate in patients uh, with decreasing GFR increases. And again, that's not surprising, but it also highlights the need for more research in, in this patient population. Did you find any cutoff or subgroup in which uh, we could say definitively at this point that ICDs don't benefit, or for all the subgroups, really, we need more information? I think for all the subgroups, we do need information. Uh, what I would point out is only 10% um, you know, of the patients had a GFR of less than 30, so that patient population was not well represented in our study. So where, do you th where would you see things going from here? As I said, I really feel that we need to do more research uh, focused on patients with chronic kidney disease. You know, certainly in patients with more severe uh, chronic kidney disease because, you know, again, this patient population is sicker. They're more likely to have complications. They have other competing, uh, you know, uh, modes of death or, or risks. And so I think a, a randomized clinical trial focused on this patient population would be very helpful. Yeah, it sounds like a randomized trial is really what we need for these people. Dr. Al-Khatib, thanks so much for joining us this morning. My pleasure.